All right, so I think I know what my next purchase is gonna be. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. So my friend Chris sent me a bunch of samples and this is one of them, Tonka Cola by Mancera. And I've heard a lot of hype about this one, never actually tried it. It came out back in 2022 with a note breakdown of vanilla Tonka bean, a Coca-Cola Accord, cinnamon, cherry, orange blossom. This stuff sounds divine, right? So if you're looking at a gourmand release, something with a fizziness, something with that cherry vanilla sort of a vibe, of course, this is one to certainly check out. I'm gonna be giving you my pseudo first impressions in this video in just a little while, so make sure to stay tuned. Before I begin today's episode and I give you my thoughts on Tonka Cola by Mancera, which is a release that's been around now for a couple of years, almost a couple of years, and I think it's amazing. I'm going to be buying a bottle of it very soon. I do want to start the video off first by saying that if you're a fan of fragrance related content, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, and also give this video a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. It would really mean a lot to me. Now the thing with Mancera fragrances, first of all, they last a very long time whether we're talking about Red Tobacco, Sicily, Cedra Boise, the list goes on and on. Tonka Cola is no exception. The thing that caught my attention about this one initially, which was quite some time ago, is the note breakdown. It just sounds amazing, right? How can you turn down notes like a Coca-Cola Accord, cherry, cinnamon, vanilla, tonka bean? It just sounds divine. And I feel like lately, consumers have been really digging these novelty scents. Like if you tell them this smells like, you know, a tiramisu cake, or if you tell them this smells like cotton candy, or if you tell, you know, I think people are looking for like a realistic version of a particular dessert or beverage or whatever, or cocktail, but made into a perfume. And there's just something about that, that maybe it takes us down memory lane. Maybe we make that association. It brings us a certain deal of comfort. Nevertheless, I am on that same bandwagon, right? I'm in that same boat. I also feel those same feelings. And here we have Tonka Cola by Mancera. <laughs> so, all right, when I, when I smell this one, I'm reminded of a few other Coca-Cola type fragrances that I've encountered in the past. One of which I own, and I think I did a review of it with my late friend Carlos, God rest his soul. And it's called Bad Boys Are No Good But Good Boys Are No Fun by Killian Paris, which is just called Boys. That's the abridged version <laughs> of the title. But that DNA has basically been rebranded into a new fragrance called Born To Be Unforgettable. And so Killian, I think, has just kind of transferred it over into a new bottle, new name, new presentation, but it's the same exact note breakdown, same notes and everything. So I do get similarities to that fragrance, um, but of course the Mancera has much better performance. And, you know, I see a lot of people online comparing it to Creation E by Raja Parfum. No, no it's not. There's no similarity. Um, can, can it be worn in the same occasions? Yes, same situations, uh, similar scenarios. Absolutely. Um, but there is something, like you can tell this is not a clone or a twist of that DNA. It's a totally different olfactive expression, but it can be worn in the same occasions. Now the thing about this one is that cherry sweetness is very mild and it just contributes to the, I guess, the how real that Coca-Cola Accord is coming across. Of course, if you've tried fragrances like Lost Cherry by Tom Ford, it's gonna be quite obvious that this one is not a cherry forward fragrance. Cinnamon, yes. I am getting cinnamon. I am getting tonka bean and vanilla. There is a, a, you know, a generous sweetness in here, which is very easy to love. And I respect that and I appreciate that. And I love that whatever is giving off that Coca-Cola vibe, and it's not a fizziness per se, but there's something that is making you feel like, oh yeah, you're smelling some sort of a carbonated beverage. It's still there. You know, despite the fact that I sprayed this like 15 minutes ago, you would think, okay, if it's aldehydes or citrus or whatever, it would have been gone by now. But no, it's still there. Whatever is creating the realism is lingering. And I really respect that and I appreciate that very much. I think this is fantastic. Longevity on this fragrance is like 10 hours on my skin, like nine, 10 hours projection. Radiated beyond an arm's length for like the first hour. 
Um, and then it became an elbows length scent right around hour six, six and a half, a skin scent right around hour nine or 10. Um, I think it's perfectly unisex. And I don't know, it's kind of a silly thing that I use in making that determination. It's like, well, everybody can drink Coca-Cola, right? But then I think about the notes and it's like, well, vanilla, cinnamon, you know, tonka bean, these are, you know, gender neutral ingredients as are all ingredients to be honest. But you know, these are ingredients that are found commonly in both men and women's perfumes. And I also think that this is a perfume with a great presentation. You know, you have that dark ambery liquid in the bottle. Um, and I would hope that it could be found discounted online at this point. I mean, it's been out for almost two years. So, you know, I probably wouldn't suggest paying retail for a Mansara fragrance that's been around for two years now, especially since Montal and Mansara fragrances are known to be discounted quite steeply. So look around if you can. But at the end of the day, don't trust me. Trust your own nose. Get a sample. Don't blind buy, right? Try it for yourself. I am going to leave links down below if I find any links online to places where you can purchase at a good price or sample it or whatever. This is not a sponsored video, obviously. This was a decant that was sent to me by my friend Chris, but also show him some love as well. He has a channel called Casual Fragrances. I'm going to link it down below. Thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed my pseudo first impression of Tonka Cola by Mansara, let me know what you think. Leave your comments down below. And uh, if you learned anything or took anything of value at all, hit subscribe, hit the bell, and give this video a thumbs up. Thanks again for watching. I love you all. And we'll see you tomorrow with a new episode. Bye.